Hi everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Chums channel, the custom saber review channel on the YouTubes. Today we got some exciting new custom saber uh, news for you guys. So um, let's dig into it and start with the first news that I could find that I was really interested in to showcase to you guys. Uh, so we got uh, Darren Radcliffe from JQ Sabers uh, keep pushing out amazing new sabers from G JQ and in this case we got an amazing looking uh blue weathered better battle saber as you can see the picture um it's just amazing saber i, I love that it has that bar graph on the side of the saber that uh that rainbow colored uh, led so let's see what it has so it comes with uh, a, a tricree in this case a blue blue white uh, green uh, lit up switches. Uh, I believe so, uh, those are 12 millimeter. Yep, 12 millimeter um, momentary switches with a, uh, a light up uh, inner ring, and then uh, it has an included blade plug. It comes with a rise port for uh, recharge and accessing the uh, the board, uh, which is inside there. I believe is there a board in there? Is this a stunt? I think it's not a stunt. I think it has a soundboard in it. Oh yeah, crystal shard. Hey, crystal shard. Sure. So it has a crystal shard 3.0 soundboard, and uh, it, 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 blah, it looks amazing with a leather wrap on the bot. Um, squared off mid section here is just awesome. Really cool saber. I wish one day I can. Uh, hopefully, I can own one of myself because um, it's just. Uh, JQ sabers in general are very very cool sabers. I really dig it. I love those purple elements. I'm a big sucker for purple. I love purple. So yeah, very cool. Um, if you're interested in the saber, go to uh, Darren Radcliffe, Speakman, or just go to JQ Sabers, their website, and um, grab one yourself. Then more news is from my big buddy Aaron. Uh, who also lives here in Hong Kong. Um, he is currently gauging uh, some uh, interest from you guys to see if you will be interested in a crystal review chamber inside uh, his own interpretation of the Graflex or his own Graflex kit basically. And uh, he has some mock shots of it. And boy, this looks fantastic. That is a proper lightsaber. As you can see, it is really cool. It has this inner chassis, which completely covers everything inside. So you can just take off the outer uh, shell of the uh, of the Graflex camera uh, piece, the outer piece, and then you review this entire inner body. And I think that is really, really cool. I actually really dig that. Um, it really adds some uh, immersion to it because this is the um, section where in which the blade will house plus the entire uh, crystal review bottom piece I think it's really cool so um, Aaron is is coming out with amazing saber designs lately and uh, I, I highly recommend him um, I highly recommend you guys to check him out uh, on his own Facebook page or just go to the Elite Lightsaber Society Facebook group for custom saber uh, enthusiasts like us and join that group. It's a fantastic group. I love that group of amazing people there. Thank you everybody who's there. Um, you're all fantastic. Uh, big plug for you guys. Um, and uh, Aaron is, is, is one of those guys uh, who is uh, part of that group as well. So uh, if you love custom sabers, ta -da! Go to the uh, go to the uh, custom uh, elite lightsaber society. Sorry, I was kissing my gorgeous Vader's fold. Mm, I love the saber. God darn, I love it. Okay, next news. Uh, Vader's fold, dude. Again, dude. They're coming with another dark rat uh, temporarily run. So if you into a rat. From Vader's Vault, be fast, dude. This, these things are running out like hotcakes. It's crazy. These things are high demand. Uh, it's just amazing saber. Shamim, we all know Shamim, the amazing Shamim. All, all hell praise and the god Shamim. Um, he recently reviewed one, his personal rat. And that thing is jaw-dropping beautiful. And again, it's one of those sabers... It's, it's a very different, interesting design. 
I would never personally like initially feel like I need to have it but now I've saw Shamin's video it grow on me and now I want one is that amazing like it's, it's a very distinctive design absolutely as he said it in his review video just checks out Shamim uh, YouTube channel of course and that saber is just straight out of Lord of the Rings there's no doubt about it it's just a very peculiar design and I really dig it uh, but yeah you need to be fast because the rat is is in and out with Vader's fault is very limited run so yeah jump on it if you're into it uh, next news uh, this is actually I never really heard of those guys but geez boy this is <laughs> so amazing this saber this is uh, Sean Mellons um, I think he is part or owner of uh, Force Foundry so let me open the page and geez look at this thing man oh my god this saber is so beautiful I freaking love it the copper elements with the flourishes on on the uh, etched on the sides the uh, the control box which look a little bit of uh, the big boy control box from this uh, from this um, view the uh, 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 let me see can see another view from that i sorry i lost my words here but it's oh my god this saber is so beautiful oh just look at it darn this is really a piece of art i really love it this is really 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 nice i really really like this i love this part here oh my god uh, that shroud as well like that shroud is not it's put in a way on that hilt that it doesn't really it's not extending the hilt it's just it's 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 nicely integrated with the hilt so it's not sticking out a lot i just love that i love that i love this con narrow control box here as well gosh look at it that looks fantastic it looks fantastic i really really dig it i really dig it so Again, uh, if you guys want to see more about uh, this company, go to Force Foundry. You can fi find them on Facebook. And, jeez. Um, I'm not going to click on the video and start the video, but you guys can check them out. Uh, wow. I, I feel like they came, came out of the blue. Um, i not really heard of them before, but maybe I just missed them out. I missed out of them. Maybe they were a little bit out of the radar. But oh, jeez, gosh, this thing is so amazing. This is so amazing. So check them out. Um, if you're in the market for one of these sabers, I don't know how limited the run is, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. Anyway, just check them out. This is this is very cool. Um. So what else we got? Um, I couldn't find much else news, but I thought this was really relevant and interesting news to share with you guys. Um, I'm still waiting on several lightsabers to review for you guys as well. So just give you the channel update here as well. Now we're talking anyway. Um, I waiting on the Hitorden lightsabers. So Aaron Lynn, uh, this dude here. Aaron he is actually sending me some of his products so to review and it will be very exciting uh, review because uh, it's something something very uh, very special uh, I'm not gonna say anything yet about it but uh, um, Aaron is working really really hard on something and I cannot wait to review it to you guys and review whatever is coming in and then of course I'm still working with uh, uh, Philip Isherwood to review his new upcoming products as well um, Philip is keeping me in the loop and ta -da, I have a very cool exciting review coming up very soon from um, let me open the page here yeah, here we go so I will be doing reviews of the sit bunny blade plugs yes I have um, got confirmation that I will be reviewing some of their uh, review samples coming in very soon and I am super stoked because these are high-end high quality amazingly high crafted uh, blade plugs they look amazing 
they look amazing and I I cannot wait to to review these things just look at them they're like pieces of art it's just oh my god um, so yeah I I cannot wait for that so very soon guys uh, tons of review coming out and um, I also had um, I, uh, I got a little bit in touch with um, uh, Jordan Mall already and it looks like maybe it will be interesting at some point I think uh, Jordan Mall also agrees with that uh, that at some point we do something mutual like uh, doing a, 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 a how you call it collab a collab video just do something together have a review together or something because the community of custom savers is really growing and it's really I feel really appreciated that uh, uh, such huge uh, big people in this community um, do recognize me, my small channel, and appreciate the type of videos I make. Uh, of course, I'm nowhere on the level of those guys like Jordan or uh, uh, Shamim and some of the other guys. Uh, but I feel like a little girl when, when I actually have the chance to speak to them and uh it's just it's just amazing how 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 amazing those people are and how nice they are and how how the community is really binding each other and you now helping each other and and that's why i love these kind of um besides of course i love those people like jordan mall and shamim and all those guys doing amazing work uh, on the YouTube promoting the custom saber industry and the custom saber hobby in, in as, as a whole um, but also these kind of communities on Facebook which is a, a big part of my daily routine like the elite lightsaber society a big shout out to them I, I really appreciate I, um, I I really appreciate all the hard work for example from Randy uh, who is one of the managers or the admins on the elite lightsaber Saber Society, uh, very kind person, very helpful, uh, just amazing group. Um, again, also big shout out to the Vault, another amazing group, um, amazing friendly people. You can openly discuss uh, why you like certain brands or don't like certain brands or Smiths and what you like as a product or not and why and have open discussions and sometimes a little bit heated of course that happens at times um, but that is also a little bit part of the the, the hobby um, in general there are some people in in, in, in the society including myself you now we, we collect something very peculiarly uh, very specific and very um, nerdy I don't say per se nerdy but it's not yet mm, as mainstream accepted to spend these amounts of money on lightsabers or movie props versus for example where it's now much more accepted to collect action figures or toys that is a much wider accepted uh, thing now I feel um, is breaking through I feel with the custom lightsaber uh, industry as well or the, the community but it takes time and um, yeah I think also because there's so many different people with different mindset about how what the, the the direction of the custom because it's growing the custom lightsaber community is growing more, more and more people casual people jump on <coughs> jump on the hobby and uh, including myself, I mean, I'm a casual. Uh, I just started uh, a little bit over a year ago with this YouTube channel and and get into this hobby. And um, yeah, of course, the more you get into it, you get sucked into it, or you you remain being a casual and and buy maybe one or two sabers. And that sometimes clashes because you have to the hardcore diehard guys that that breathe, live lightsaber, custom sabers. And you have to, and the guys or the girls that just want to have a saber, and it don't really matter much to them. They don't have that much of. They they like it, but it's not like everything to them because they also have different hobbies and different things in life they they care about. And um, 
that community is just growing and 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 evolving and that's an interesting and a thing to actually uh, experience and by being part of these uh, facebook groups for example you have uh, a lot of people coming together with different backgrounds and different ideas and it gets interesting uh, interesting uh, um, conversations and discussion material which i like i really like that um so that's it yeah um Hope you like this news update, and uh, there will be another uh, update next week. I will keep doing this every week. Just have just plenty of stuff in 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 the custom saber industry happening, and at some point, I have to be honest, I want to expand that. Uh, but it also depends a little bit on you guys' feedback. Do you like these kind of videos from me? Is it making sense to you? Do you actually enjoy watching me, or is it like yeah? You don't really have to do it. Just concentrate on the review videos, and that's that's enough. <laughs> because I, I I put time and effort in it, and I enjoy doing it. But if nobody else enjoys watching it, then there's maybe it's not the right channel, or maybe not the right content that I bringing uh, on the same channel. So let me know, because I definitely want to continue making these kind of videos. But if it doesn't really fit into the existing material that's already out there, like all say all the lightsaber reviews and the unboxing videos, then of course let me know. Then then I will address that because I do I do want to bring uh, stuff that you guys like to watch. And um, that was it. That was my ranting. That was my video. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, that really helps me and it motivates me to continue making more and more content. Plus, it's easier for you guys to actually uh, see the stuff coming in your feed. And then you automatically know, oh, there's a new uh, custom saber review. Or, oh, there's a new custom saber item review. Or unboxing video. Or news, uh, custom saber news video. Or maybe even you like to watch the... Um, spinning videos the uh, the uh, saber conditioning videos um, might help you guys out to 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 subscribe it makes it a little bit easier to track it um, either way I gonna close it off because I'm out of my mind see you later have a good weekend weekend